So we have many, <laughs> we have many meeting minutes to approve, right? Uh, there are two sets that came out earlier, mm -hmm. the November and the March 17th. And then there was a set from February that came out today. Yes. So I did not print them, but I did read them. Yeah. I, mean, I, I did read them. Okay. So I read the other ones. Yeah. Did anybody else? Okay. So I have one copy for whoever wants it of the ones that came out today. I have. A, I actually have a copy. I printed it out. I just didn't have time to okay. read it. Does anybody need a copy? I didn't read it, but I won't read And there was one edit that David sent to me that as well as his name included him. That way you knew I read it. That's right. That was the test. And I'm like, it's great to know that somebody. So, um, the next, we're talking about the November 2018 that yep. came out previously on the 317. Right. Was the two that yep. came out previously. So are we in agreement if we're okay? I need a motion. Motion to agree. Motion to accept the minutes. As written. As written. Well, there was an edit. The not on those. Um, on um, this. Oh, today's. Yeah. Oh. Okay. One motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? No nays. I say aye. I'm in favor. <laughs> Should you vote to approve them since you wrote them? <laughs> well, you told me to edit them as necessary. <laughs> but. Uh, that is a good question. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, like, we, you, you don't technically need to vote on them. They could be approved by consensus. Okay. Okay. As long as people approve. Yeah. With approval. Okay. Anyone else that? The staffing. How exciting is that? You see all those applications? Mm -hmm. in yes. And so I, I wanted to contact you, which I hadn't, I haven't done yet, but. Um, because I think I, do I need some sort of password or something? Do, do I respond to oh, people oh, through oh, Indeed? No, no, no. And thank you for asking that. Yes. That so, like, okay, what do I, what am I supposed to do? Just respond um, to whatever they have out? Is that? We should talk about that. Yeah. So, so for the record, let me just say that the select board would like to hire the director the assistant director and the team director. What and do then, you mean by that? In um, that? Like technically, like like interview people, make a recommendation, but they're going to technically hire them. Once you have, rec you know, so those three people or any combination of them with any combination of one or more members of, you know, you all can interview and hire your counselors, but they want to hire the, you know, with your recommendation, hire the um the direct the two directors and the assistant okay director. but but so, is that so do they want the pro so am i still i was conducting still, interviews and then or are they gonna no, 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 take no, this no, they, want, they want recommendations they okay. don't they don't want to okay they just want recommendations okay um as, as if, you know they i i can't they might possibly want to meet the director, you know, here's so and so. Yeah. We like this person. Yeah. If you have any questions? And then hi, nice to meet you. We'll hire you. Yeah. Okay. Um, that would be the heaviest okay. burden, I would say. Um, Is everybody getting those resumes? Does everybody see them? Have you, has anybody taken I have a gander? I will. I, 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 I try to get into one. <coughs> Uh, who it was or what they, you know, what their resume was, but I think they didn't send it about, um, The username and password. password. Yeah. Okay, so I apologize for that. I wasn't sure how that was going to work. Well, wait a minute, but I could get into it. So at, did you... At the bottom, there is a... Did you see them? There was an attachment to all of them. Okay, so, so, that so that's what I was going to suggest, is if you could, if somebody wanted to, and it could be me, but... Um, so you all got that, so you should all be able to see it, and then somebody ought to print it 
So this is what I get, just so you know. This is my, oh, um, excuse me, somebody has applied yeah. for the job. Um, this is I can do candidate. Yeah. Um, keep going down. There should be a way to go, keep, down, yeah, yeah, keep, keep going. going. If you have candidate, like, can you, like, see there? Yeah. I don't want to go up to the interview. Because I, I get a different, I get Yeah, the secure different. dot means, yeah, okay, so go back. Um, so this is what I get on mine. So you see how that comes up on my Gmail? And then all I have to do is hit that right there, and I get his resume. Okay. Yeah. I tried every button I could find on here. I couldn't get it. Okay, but that's okay. But do you have one you account? I don't know. I didn't think I did. I have a deep account, so I can pull them up. <laughs> and I'm that's weird because, like, you know, you know. But mine's for like a flight. That's for applying jobs, not for right. This, that's this is all very enlightening. Um, so my goal in having all of them, you know, I interested interested applicants should email recreation committee. You must have seen that, um, so that you would all see them. Like my hope was that you would have Kelly's experience mm -hmm. rather than Dee's experience, but I wasn't really I sure what would happen. Oh, I actually do have it. I had you to do. Okay. All the way down and it's in a PDF. Yeah. Okay. So out. mine came up so different I just on my. That's so I get my PDF, my whatever attachment comes up right underneath. So I don't even have to scroll through all that stuff. But my question was, we have a private block, or private folder that the man needs for us on the drive. You could put the PDFs in there. Can private we put folder. the PDFs in there? And, then, and that way, it's easier for everybody to see them. Sure. Okay. Well, so I, I, so I pulled I out a few. I, I went through. I just didn't know because it was your right. field. Right. But, but I mean, I certainly, if, if, you know, I, there were some though that I looked at. I'm like, one person was from California. This is from Florida. Right. So, you know, so <laughs> I'm, I was kind of really lo relocating for this. Right. Like, that's exactly. Cool. One so, of them did say, "Willing to relocate." Yeah. Oh, it did. I didn't see one of those. Well, one of them, I think the Florida one, because I printed that one just for fun, mm -hmm. that um, I think that person said Southern Maine or something like that on right under the, uh, who was that? Oh, what is in Manchester? So this one right here, the Florida one, so it says right here, Cary, Maine, up top. Okay. Yeah, so that was one. All right, so we know that. A little lacking in there. So, as far as I know. so right now, Kelly, are you just you're printing them off and just sort of... Yeah, right now, I, well, right now I printed off a few that I thought were were good. Um, I would suggest that this committee, you know, maybe it's already been clearly defined, but delegate Kelly or, you know, two of you or something to go through all the resumes and maybe put the notable, considerable ones on the drive. Mm. And then everybody can look at the ones worth considering, and that way you get it down to not everybody having to read every single one of them. Right. How comfortable or, are you on the drive? Not so comfortable. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> well, maybe you could email Celia and say, you know, could you put A, B, and C on the drive or something like that? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you just hit forward on the ones you want, put them on the drive and hold it. Okay. Um, as or if, or as project. you guys, come, or if you guys come, you know, if there's somebody on there in particular that you think, you know, <laughs> I mean, I kind of picked it up a couple what I, I thought. We, I got, I also received, and I don't know if, if you guys, there were two other requests saying, I think one was from a UNH student, um, you know, are, are, are the jobs still open? And, you know, so I replied, yes, and Please send us whatever. So, um, just so all you know, if there's something that comes through and to everybody and it's job related, right? Um, I just have been responding. So, mm -hmm. um, and there was somebody else that asked about sending an email, so I sent them back a message saying, yeah, if you want to email me the resume and just send it to me. But they haven't gotten any to that. Yet, so. mm -hmm. well, that was. I can't that was a while ago. I was going to ask you. Yeah, that, that I haven't seen. I haven't and seen that one. That will relate to something. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Um. So yeah, I'll uh, keep going through that. Well, what I was going to do was send out a couple of emails to a couple of these people and say, you know, 
would you really um, move to New Hampshire from California? So this one is from California. So the okay. one from UNH, did you ask if she saw that off the job board? Or? I did not ask anything, okay. no. So can I yep. make a motion that, that Kelly is officially the one handling the job? Um, yep, the she's, staff, she's on the staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I thought we did. She's the coordinator. Okay. Just making sure because. Yeah. Yeah. And and she, said, if she needs help from any of us, she can write. Right. Us in. And we said that Kelly would do all those responses. Dean would be, do all the everything registration. Yeah. Related. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. I just put your facilities. Simplify. Yeah. Yeah. And with sponsorships, donations, and fundraising. Same with Kathy. Yeah. All right. So I haven't officially really done anything. It's a very exciting that we have all this coming through. I find it sort of interesting that we haven't heard really from any of our past employees. Um, so, did you put out an email saying, "Do you want do you want to come back or not?" No. Was I supposed to give the email addresses for that? Oh. I may have dropped the ball on that one, but yes, we talked about this last right that we were going to do that. I'll get you the email addresses. I promise. Okay. We did do that. But one did ask you, right? Is that the one who didn't? I've had a, a couple yeah. ask. And I even approached um, one who was related to me. And I said, are you thinking about working? And she's like, yeah. And I said, OK, well, returners have to fill out a new application for us this summer. So um, I guess that wasn't as clear. So I did tell her that. So yeah, we should probably just say, but yeah, the one one who we talked about who has been with us for a while, mm -hmm. you know, I, I believe I told her that she had to do a new application. I haven't heard from her either. But there was one who didn't work last summer who sent an email who had worked before. Who did not work last summer? I'm almost positive she didn't work last summer. Well, we can go into mine probably, right? Non-public if you want to talk names. It, it might be really helpful if when you email all these former employees that you give them not a hard and fast deadline, but we would really like, if you want to, like, yeah. please let us know by whatever date so that you know more clearly what you think your employment needs would be, particularly, yeah. you know, um, how many outside applications you might need, um, right. or whether or not you're going to... Um, preference to people who have already, you know, experience in your program. But but if, you, if they have a deadline, like, people tend to respond better if they right. have some kind of deadline. Right. So, so I can find it before we leave today. I'll send it to you. My other question is, is there a deadline on Indeed? Is there a closing date? Of well, course there is. I can't tell you offhand what it is, but it's likely to be beyond what we need it for, and it's renewable. So I wouldn't worry about that. Gosh, I think ideally, right? <coughs> I'm gonna get these people hired. Like, yeah, there was a question about it. Like, it was so important. We didn't want to be hired. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Yes. yes. Nothing to do with hiring. What, what time typically does team camp leave? Like, what time do they arrive and leave? So they're a nine to four. Okay. Yeah. We're just asking, Margaret asking it because the students who would be coming to, for services on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. <laughs> but w is there, would be there a team person? Uh -huh. that, oh, okay. But we can, we can do it before. I don't mind going in early and I know okay. somebody else who doesn't. Because usually, <laughs> usually Wednesdays too, I mean that's, usually I get on a bus and go someplace by well, 9. I believe the one, if you're on the bus by 9, yeah, 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 that would know, be fine. Nine to nine fifteen, as far probably. as I know of the ones that possibly are thinking of signing up for team camp, don't have speech, so they wouldn't have to be there earlier. But as long as, so if we said that because we, we wouldn't want them hanging around either, but as long as we were done by like quarter to nine, mm -hmm. then that would work. 
And I, I honestly even think right up to so nine, nine okay. right? Because they really only have to arrive at nine. Okay. You know, so. So as long as we're done by nine, yeah. Then, yeah. And we're pretty good, but. Yeah. So David took the um, job application that I had sent out, and we worked it a little bit. Okay, you already had a good one. Yeah. It was a good exercise. <laughs> So I brought it, the copy of his and I wanted to Could look you at email it. that to me? Because I do not have a nice looking electronic job application. That would be handy. <laughs> Thank you. God, I think That's I was supposed to do that last week, too. I think I emailed you a copy. <laughs> of the job application? Oh. I don't remember the job application. Me but either. Did you right. send that out to all of us? How did I miss that? <coughs> David responded. David saw All right, so if it's already out there, then I apologize, and I'll go look again. Okay. Oh, uh, was that under the March 28th? Did you want a hard copy? Yeah. No. Thank okay. you. I'll, I'll oh, this is where you said, sorry, not job description. This is job application. Uh -huh. I just thought that was the only one. <laughs> with the well, going off like every kind of good okay. news. Yes. Yeah, copy of. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so you did sign with that. It's okay. So right. you sent this Sorry. to me <laughs> and Kelly. Okay. That's true. Oh, was that the Barrington thing? All right, so I'm officially done, I think. Right? Yes. Staffing done? Well, this letter came to me and to you. It's the acceptance oh, letter. Oh, right. Yeah, it was from Barrington, right? You sent out the Barrington. Yeah, because I caught... I, I printed yeah, it off. It was in the Barrington one that came out. Yeah. Did I send you the wrong one? You never updated with our reviewed. No, I have them. I just sent you the wrong one. Oh. Well, I printed off the. Um, I printed off the checklist mm -hmm. for new hires, so I did uh, that. I didn't do that. I did the yeah. offer letter. So I did. I just printed off this, the checklist. And it's basically changing of the dates. Um, and the times to make sure they match because this doesn't match our program for this year. Nope, that was a, that was normal. And then my question is, it says this position is 40 hours per week, full time. Is everybody full time, including the counselors? The counselors are not 40 hours, they're 35 hours a week. Now you could see this is just something that, this is like a, yeah, from the very beginning that was just something that we, yeah, and then, was a draft that we never even used. And I said at the top, let me review our notes because there were a couple of things over the last couple of meetings that we decided that we needed to put in the offer letter. So um, I will get that to you. Yeah, that one I did not print off because I just I knew it was the bearing one, so I was like, yeah, oh, did yeah. you want to see it? Yeah, because it's got our. <laughs> is it a, it's got our envelope and stuff on it. Oh, and my one, my other question on there is it says um, an offer of employment is extended by the Rollins for Recreation Committee or Rollins for Rec. We shouldn't say that. Should, should we, we say the select board? Should we say the town of Rollins for it? Should it say Rollins for Rec? Well, like I said, we have a different version. That's yes. Way different than that. So, and I think I, my note to you guys, I said I'd have to find it. I think Oh my yeah. Yeah. But my question so, is select for board for the top three positions right. and then it can be rec committee for the councils. Yeah. Any kind of content or calendar date 
things that may be relevant um, between June 1st and approximately November 1st and November 15th. So it would be a detail of a camp for sure, or camps for sure. Well, so, so that we would be in the June 1st, you know, it's going to go out June 1st. Mm -hmm. So as long as you think that that's Relevant. Still relevant at the time? Um, yeah, I mean, if, if by all means, if that's still relevant, go for it. Just um, you, you've got to stay concise because space is always a problem. We're limited to how big the newsletter can be, and, and it's only it's one sheet. Okay. Yeah, because at that so point, it, would it be? I mean, you anything. Said I, you know, you could do something like, you know, registration is still open, here's the website, or, or you know, <coughs> like, like, how do you say what you need something. to say as concisely as possible? Yeah, just do it real quick. So will it be the first, first, of, the first of June? Because we have a June 10th deadline, right? So it's yeah. that. Yeah. They go June 1st. Yeah, okay. So June 1st, they go off. Well, there you go. That could be, that could be our blurb. Yeah, it could be a small <laughs> blurb. Um, so registration's still going. Well, the fall. Right. Maybe something where we should have the fall. Do we have anything about the fall? Do we have any basketball? Not the fall. <laughs> well, well, you know, yeah. You could say open gyms start in the fall. October. We don't usually start those till October. November. Even. Well, so there you go. So, so yeah, look out for gyms. notices about open yeah, gym, open gym. On, the, on the website. You know, here's the link, you know. It's not electronic, so it's not really a link, but you know, on the recreation web page of the. D, are you going to do that? Oh, I can. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so I am, I'm sorry, could you tell me? I, I know you sent that now. May 1st. It's due May 1st. <laughs> Did you want, at any time, do we want to put something out there about swimming programs? Do you have anything coming up um, in the fall for a senior program? Mm -hmm. We could. Okay. So I'll tell you what, um, this is due by May 1st, so why don't I just start something, and then if you have anything um, for the, the senior program and you want to send along to me, you can certainly add it in there. But this group should see and approve right. whatever you write before it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have another meeting before then. I would think. Quick couple of weeks. It's flying. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be needed in the summer for this. I don't know. Don't say that it's snowing. <laughs> okay, so um, registrations. Um, I gave you all the latest on that as of last night. Oops. And pretty good. Um, the one thing I didn't put on here was that I am sending I put it on my tick list for is it this week? Um, see the thirty Thursday or Friday. I'm sending out an email to all the parents from last year. Just to remind them, hello, we're here. Yeah, right. We love to have you back. We would love to see your camper again. Everything. What's that? Every kid that was registered. <laughs> um, somebody actually just sent me an email, and it went to me because I like to look to see if I'm asking about programming. I don't know. Okay, we need to get another assistant director for some. Just typed in. Um, anyway, she just was asking, are we are you doing the pool and the state parks again, was the question. Um, will the kids at Camp Riley be visiting state parks each week and the Dover pool as they have in the past? So I said yes to the pool. And that we were doing a few state parks, but adding 
Right. Yeah. And you might add a disclosure in there, something like, you know, whether permitting or subject to change. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. Well, just that we are considering. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't bind to, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Has it good stuff? Yeah. That's right. We are considering going to. Okay. So that's what I. Does anybody have any questions on that on registrations? I also broke down how many work out of town in case you guys are curious. So I am curious. It's kind of fascinating. Um, talking about the pool and looking at what the to do list was from February, Kelly got back to us about the pool schedule. And Wait, what is this? What are we doing now? Talking about activities, um, but and registrations. Um, there was something in here. I will get to it later. Is it something? Is there a thing in there that has to do with registrations right now? Uh, it was with the funds coming in for the extra field trip and where it goes in the budget and all of that. And like if we're if they're paying for all of the extra um, trips up front. Mm -hmm. Um, Denise was supposed to get clarification on all of so that. So do you mean up front as in part of the registration because that wouldn't be happening? Well, for you we, guys, we, talk, we talked about um, in this meeting the collection of those funds for the field trip and how they're going to happen. And we never resolved how they were going to happen, when they were going to happen, where they were falling in the budget, if we have the money to do it, because we didn't put it oh, in a specific yeah, okay. budget sorry. line. I misunderstood what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. That's right. We never did resolve that, didn't we? Right. That's why we were looking for very inexpensive or cheap or no charge things to do in the end. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking for that right now. Um, so questions and concerns were focused on activity fees. If there were, um, if it were part of the tuition or scholarships donated and where these fees would fall on the budget. Certain lines were reviewed as part of this process of where it would fall, and Denise will look further into these lines to determine where it falls in the budget, <coughs> and if we can continue with this idea, since there is no specific budget line for these designated field trips. So there was a question about us bringing in money and the county report going out, because it's going through the town municipal budget. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, you're limited by your budget, so you can't expend more than your budget regardless of how much money you bring in. Um, your budget lines, like you have a, as you should, you have a, a pretty descriptive budget about how you intend to spend money. Um, but if you recall the lines, how I collect money and how I spend money on, um, on your behalf, they're much more limited. They're, you know, there are very few lines. So. Um, I, I'm not looking at the town report right now, but I believe that there's, you know, as far as the town report is concerned, there's Camp Raleigh and Team Camp, and then like seniors and basketball, whatever. But as far as summer is concerned, it's those two lines. Um, so budget, you know, um, budget presentation and accounting are different. So it doesn't mean that my, you know, how I record money has to match exactly, you know, what the town report has for lines, but it has to be translatable, I guess. And so, um, I, I, I don't know if I'm going off on too much of a tangent or if I'm actually answering your question, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that the way we currently have it set up, recreation, uh, transportation is, is its own expense. So, um, and registrations, not last year but the year before, was how we collected the monies that went for field trips. So um, I have not changed those accounts. I'm not sure that I think it's a good idea to change those accounts. Um, but if I don't change them, so here's the thing. With all of your expenses and with the money that comes in, it is not clear to me what's Teen Camp and what's Camp Raleigh ever. And so there are going to be so many questions about what's Team Camp and what's Camp Raleigh that it's going to be really hard to um, make sure that's accurate. I can make sure what I've got going on remains accurate. And then you all can take the reports that I give you and decide how much of what you brought in and what you spent is 
camp rally or team camp. But um, we had a pretty good idea last year. You did it. You did it really yeah. well. But um, but it's you know it's really hard for me to know you know which group went on this field trip. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I can put it in rec transportation. That's easy because that's where you know. But otherwise, it's going to take a, a a whole new level of communication that I don't think we're quite capable of yet. So where did it go? Where was it last year? So if I was looking at the income statements that you would print out for us, what bucket were you printing so like field trip money that was cool? Well, wait a second. We didn't do that last year. It, it's all in registration, exactly. So okay. you've got sales and registrations and donations and those are your only three categories. Free. Okay. Because for us, um, and I can make another income if that's like worthwhile. But, you know, it, it's, you know, it's for how I get you, you know, I, I'm happy to get, within reason, I'm happy to get you information the way that we can get you information. Um, I need to pass all of this by the select board because it's really their decision how, you know, how many accounts we have and how it's named. But, you know, that's an accounting, you know, it's complicated and accounting is different than budgeting. But I, I can't exactly, the way we have, this group working um, and the level of staff that we have, there's no way for me to know what's team camp and what's Camp Raleigh with registrations and income, nor with expenses. So you break it down into registration, transportation, and what was? Okay, so sales? income. Income uh, is donations, registrations, and sales. Registration, okay, income, donations, and sales. And then for expenses, you have payroll, payroll taxes, transportation, and supplies. So it really doesn't matter. Even if we had, even if we did develop a line item for it, let's just say, it still wouldn't work with the town as it is today. So, correct? Field trip. Yeah. Money coming in. Yeah. So if we, yeah, I'm not sure that I would know that that's what it is, though. Is the other thing. But assuming that that's you know that it's clear, like that I'm getting that level of information, I can track it separately. But still, I don't know if that's team money or Camp Raleigh money. So expenses, payroll, payroll, taxes, transportation, what was the last supplies. supplies. Thank you. Um, we did. At this meeting in February, um, Kelly mentioned, and I made sure it was in the notes, that um, the Jane Thompson Pool and the state parks are included in registration. So those we don't have to worry about. So are the people who are registering, like what does it say on your registration form and what are you telling people is included in the registration fee? Because we have to be consistent with that. In other words, you know, I signed up for camp and then like after I'm already enrolled in camp, I can't come today until I've already paid a fee, but you didn't tell me that ahead of time, that would be a problem. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, registrations, so as far as tuition is concerned, that's just, it's their camp tuition, it's t-shirts, a t-shirt, excuse me, bus transportation, New Hampshire State Park, and Jenny Thompson Pool. Is that clearly outlined? There's an application form right out in the well, it definitely is. Okay. Do you want one, David? No, I can't get it for you. Oh. Grab one for me. Sure. Dave, what kind of cookies do you have? They're glasses being prepared. Did you make them? Sure. My name is Daniel Motherlife from Clayton Make Some Up Center of Joy. Nice. So, Happy self. Can I grab one? I can grab one. Thank oh, you. Excuse me. It's the registration. <laughs> What's the registration, registration fee includes all that. So, Carolyn, so the second page, you think it it'll tell you, you what? Uh, 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 Some of two to three lovely. lovely. Okay, off camp, yeah, off campus ranges to five to twenty. Okay, okay. I'll do that. All right. Well, I'll do okay. Does that make sense? No, thank you. <laughs> Did you make those yourself? Yeah. Oh, very nice. They're like perfectly round too. Let's use a scooper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, actually, I'm going to generate a ball from the black. Oh, 
Yeah. They look all the same size. I know. Oh, wait. So <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any way to know because the price ranges. Um, you're clearly going to have to accept field trip money after the fact. Oh yeah, that was. Which means that we're back to we need to have a spreadsheet of who signed up, how much yeah. money is due, and whether or not they went, and whether or not they paid. Yep, we did that um, year before. Okay. Yeah. But it's not going to be like it was a year before. We're talking maybe, would be like two? Two years ago. No, like two trips. Trips. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No. so okay. the ones that are being charged for are minimal. Like two. Maybe. We, maybe. Said we two. might do one. Which is estimated. Okay. Okay. Because okay. we had originally said four. And yeah, so there's four on the camp starts. We have a full spreadsheet okay. for attendance. Right, but only. No, we'll still generate that off so of all the registration. Two of the off campuses are going to be free. We're just what we're trying to come up with. Okay, that was the deal. Well, it's going to be free. Because of what we talked about with Denise. Free. Which is what you're reading. Yeah? Yeah. I, I would like to. I did say that two would be inexpensive, very inexpensive for free and one. Yeah. Like, out of the whole I just it just popped into my head since we're talking about all this, so I don't know if I should. What about? <coughs> don't even, don't even, just, 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 just don't even, just. Um. All right. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just teasing. Um. Kelly wants to bring up credit cards. So let me give you the skinny on credit cards. We just need one for the team camp director. Oh, you want an expense <laughs> card? Oh, I thought you were talking about taking credit. Okay. No, okay. no. I'm okay. talking about when we get our team camp director to pay for um, items that we came across the last year that were better okay. off um, bought online ahead of time because there were definitely discounted rates by okay. using a credit card ahead of time for so some of these venues. You want team director only to have that? Is yeah. That, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, so so here's here's what I have to say about that. Um, it's it's not impossible. I'm not entirely comfortable with it. It has to go to the board. Um, I have to see whether um, it needs board approval. Um, there's a $200 spending limit, and that's for like any employee for the purchasing policy. So I don't know how helpful it's going to be. So yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> um, so the board is committed to reevaluating the the purchasing policy. I I can't because there are other um, people who are noting that $200 is not very helpful. Um, I can't say that that will or will not <coughs> get changed in time to be helpful to this group. So um, as much as I really hate to have people spend their personal money, that would be the best way to get to take advantage of those kinds of opportunities. Um, second to that, if I have enough notice, if somebody wants to send me a link, if that's workable, I mean, I, I still have the two hundred dollar. You have the limit, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up to. Um, and it's not, you know, it, it's kind of so like our field trip thing too. Like what we're talking about, it's not every one. You know, what I know I mean? it happened like two or three times right. last year that I right. remember somebody for that. Right. Um, let me let me work on the board about it. I, I can't say what might happen with that. Okay. So I went off. I went off. I went rogue on that one. <laughs> that just, um, just popped into my head. Can I, since we're in budget and finance, can I add <laughs> something else? Yep. So the um, budget committee has a proposed schedule. The select board has approved the proposed schedule. We are trying to get more proactive about SB2. Um, which means that everything's bumped up. So there is not an official announcement yet, but be ready for the fact that you absolutely are going to have to start budget prep, you know, 
immediately following camp ending, if not sooner. Um, which is going to be okay. difficult because you're not going to have all your data necessarily right. Can't be done. So how are we supposed to propose a new budget if we don't? Just the know. same way that you propose this one, which is, you know, with the best information you have at the time, and what you know from last year, and what you know as of that date for this year. So. Are we talking about? I mean, we're talking August for this. Absolutely. I'm on vacation. <laughs> so, so plan for this because it's going to affect your following year. Absolutely. Um, the other thing I want to bring up is that would be the time to really be thinking about um, what's the three to five year plan. It's not just next year. What's the plan? What are your goals? Where are you trying to go? Yeah. And we talked about at the February meeting about raising the senior budget because. Right now it's only got three hundred dollars. Once that three hundred dollars is gone, it's gone, and that doesn't afford a lot of activities. Where if we could up it, then we would be able to do more activities for the senior program. And even if they pay for it, we would have to up it. But the whole conversation about the fund, whatever that is, is going to come into play at that time too. Yes. And so if there is money that is. So assuming that we are going to propose to create a fund and whatever that is, um, your point about the senior budget, um, we'll see. I mean, like, you know, the, that it's, it, you won't know how much money is going into it because this year won't be done. All you'll know is, you know, that you're proposing that whatever's left over will go into that fund, theoretically. Um, but it's going to be interesting because theoretically you could make the argument to budget to spend whatever that money is that you might be putting into that fund without really knowing how much that money is. <laughs> so, you know, take that for chicken and egg and blood and, you know. <laughs> it will be better in subsequent oh. years because as you have more history, you can create better budgets, but you'll also have more, um, you'll know what you had left over in the fund from the year before, for example, and things like that. So let me ask you this now that we're talking about the fund. So the, the warrant, right? It needs to be a warrant article. Is that correct? Yes. Wording? Okay. For the town to vote on in March. Correct. When would that need to be? Would that need to be done in order? When you are presenting your budget to the budget. select board, that would be the time to say, also, we want to do this. Okay. Um, it can be slightly later than that as far as, you know, um, official timeline for process, but um, it would be best for the board to have that amount of time to deliberate about it because also, since it, if there, since you are proposing that there be a dollar amount in there, likely, then it's going to have to go to the budget committee as well for recommended, not not for, you know, just for at the very end of their process for them to recommend or not recommend. So as I would say, keep it part of your budget process just so that it has as much time as, as could be needed for discussion and evaluation and questions and So that pretty much means once camp gets started here, we're, we need to work on that. Yeah. We usually have the summer's off, don't <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got that notes. Um, I'm taking the summer off. off. <laughs> I mean, if you want to look at the silver lining, at least it's all fresh in your mind because you're still doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the warrant article will have to come through the budget committee too? Yes. yes. Assuming that you are putting a dollar amount in it. Which I would hope and suggest that you would be. Um, um, we'll get to that. Okay. It, I mean, you know. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Let's get to that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I don't have enough information. Another follow-up question, if we're talking finances right now. Um, 
I'm guessing you are that. But it was to confirm with you that senior funds and summer rec are both supposed to be revenue neutral, while winter rec and family funding are not revenue neutral. Family funding is a, is a donation for fireworks. That's always been considered a donation for fireworks. Um, I, I can't comment on the other two. I don't know really what their assumption about that is. Um, Cause we were, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not positive, so I can ask that question. Um, we were under the impression that summer rec had always been revenue neutral. Um, to hold the phone. Um, or was required to be as close to revenue neutral as possible. Only mm -hmm. since this group reenacted summer rec before this group took it over it was not revenue neutral mm -hmm. that was the directive of the board the year that they allowed this this group to take it over and do it um, so that's something that I would suggest that we discuss in 2020 budget prep because that's a question about the values of the community and the values of this committee and the values of the select board. It wasn't always. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that it should or shouldn't be, but I don't want you to feel as though that there's, you know, something etched in stone about that because any kind of directive like that is a value statement of the select board at the time, which means as the board changes, that can change. So my follow-up question is, and we had a lot of input from the senior survey that said bring back the ice rink, and that... It's uh, not revenue. And that we discussed <laughs> it at our February meeting, that that's not revenue neutral, nothing is charged for it, it's always been a volunteer thing and a free thing, and that's why the impression was that winter rec was not following the same requirements. So winter rec, to my mind, included the potential for the ice rink, but it was also basketball. So it became, I think it's called in the, in the book, I think it's winter rec slash basketball. I'm not sure. So the conversation at the time with the select board at the time was that if you needed to buy a new liner because you wanted to have an ice rink, then I, I think there's full understanding that there's not a way to staff that and make that revenue neutral. None, so you would have to have a purchase order to buy a liner, so that would be the way to start the conversation. I would suggest that s someone from this group go to the board with a purchase order and say, we've discussed this, it's a goal, this is the cost, how do you feel about it, here's a purchase order, and see what happens. Um, because again, it's a different board now. and. I think they would probably be supportive of that. Senior rec, I'm not sure that the board is really very aware of what the intention was with that, with regard to being revenue neutral or not. So I would say when this group has a plan about that and an idea, go talk to the board about it and, and why you're proposing what you're proposing. And I think that'll come into when we have the revolving fund that may be something that... So that, that'll be a relevant conversation at that time, but also um, it, it will likely be pertinent to the board what's going on with the summer rec budget when you're asking that question. So summer rec lately has get, been given the directive to be revenue neutral. But if you are clearly bringing in more money or have already it done and you have brought in more money, then that is a um, better justification for them to use maybe some of the offsetting revenue from, you know, in theory, you know, not like with, with you know, but in theory, you know, using the extra revenue that you brought in from Camp Raleigh and applying it toward senior stuff so that you could offer something free for seniors, maybe, or something like that. Like, I think there's flexibility, even if it were to be revenue neutral, how you, you know, sell what it is you think is important to do. Well, we were talking about what we could do for the $300, how we fund different things, how it would, different ways of funding it 
which would fit into our budget without expending the whole budget on one thing. And one of the things thrown out was we could just set up a coffee hour and people could pay for it themselves. It's a coffee hour at Black Bean. Everybody shows up, they pay for senior programs. Everybody pays it. And it doesn't affect our budget because it's just a coffee hour where people are coming. What would affect our budget may be the noticing. Like if you're going to put posters out or something like that to get people there. But like putting on a spaghetti dinner and spending $300 at a spaghetti dinner, buying all the food or renting a space, then your budget's gone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't decide necessarily how much, you know, I, I think a spaghetti dinner could potentially be very inexpensive to put on. Um, I, I don't want to obligate the American Legion, but just as a point of information, they're usually very gracious about allowing it to be free for town purposes. So it, it, it might be, you know, you can ask them what the rate is at least so you know. Tell them it's for town purpose and what your goal is, and see what they tell you the rate is and if there's a rate. I think it would be really helpful. Like, you know, I, I've heard that idea come up before here. So, you know, if you, if you can explore what the cost actually is, is you know, would Hannaford donate a bunch of pasta? I think that you know, I, I think any of the local bigger grocery store chains likely would. But if you explore those things. And, and get better information, then that will help this group decide whether it's workable and whether or not, you know, the board has to make an exception to a rule or not or whatever. The other concern was that we couldn't charge for that because there's no income line on the senior budget. That we couldn't, if we charge for it, we can't use that money for something else because that money is gone. Whatever well, it's, it's not that it's gone, but it, you know... Um, we can't go over what's in our budget. Th that is really the point. Regardless of how much money you bring for any of the programs, you can't go over the expenditure budget without permission of the board, which is not to say that it can't happen. It depends on when in the year you want to do it, and how much money you need, and how other budget lines are doing. So if there's money available, especially if you have offsetting income, I think the board would likely let you have additional programming. You know, if you've got the revenue, then there is no impact in, in the longer term. There is an immediate, you know, if, if the money's there anyway, in another line, and you've got the offsetting income, it's a really good argument, depending on what it is you want to do. I think they would likely be supportive of that. Maybe we should come up with like a list of three things to start with. So what we're what we're doing like should it be like a once a month you know that's always a good thing to so then you don't have to do posters or whatever if you say you know the the last thursday of every month we're having a, yes. a social and for also, seniors right i can go back and pull out the information that the senior survey provided and yes. it said their best way of contacting them and i mean we don't need posters right so i think if you just start by Establishing something, we have um, to establish something. Remember, um, when you when you're thinking about such things, that the library has the community room there. Yeah. Yeah. So you know you could have a game night, like a board game night, or a, like a coffee social thing or something, there if it's not already booked, and, and it would be easy to schedule that for the same time every month or mm -hmm. or what have you. And even like to me, three hundred dollars, like. If you, if you bought a dozen donuts and, uh, and, and a coffee thing to, you know, I mean, that goes a long way. You could have a, we, we could have, you know, six of those every year. Maybe more. Mm -hmm. Dave could make cookies all right. we need. All we need is coffee now. <laughs> right? I got coffee green bag. All right. <laughs> Really? Oh, 
my personal feeling, Celia, on that, not that you really care about that. But <laughs> sure, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> would be, we start that, like maybe we think about starting that September. Like that would be a good September, you know, October, November, December. We have four on the, you know, whatever that is. The, yeah. the fourth Thursday of every month. And yeah. so then we get be something. Nice. Yes, okay, so not that day. <laughs> well, you would have Wednesday, I don't know. Yeah, like, but if you're Tuesday, you know, not Thursdays if you want the library, not Thursday evenings. Anyway. Okay, so, so yeah, the they do yoga then. So, you know, yeah. we have to figure that all out, right? Yeah. But I think the library is a great resource, and they, we can bring coffee into it. And the other thing is that a lot of these seniors are retired. Some of them are not, but maybe something in the afternoon or yeah. during the day would be beneficial for them. Well, especially because likely a lot of them don't drive at night, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so. or they go to bed really early or, you know, things like that. So mornings or, or afternoons might be better. So we'll put that on our list for August. <laughs> Along with budget, but yeah. <laughs> so we're done with minutes. We're all over the place now. We didn't follow we did. D at all. That's okay. It's our guy. I like that you do this. This yeah. is really great. Me so too. is there anything else? that we follow it, but we love yeah. it. So um, budget and finances that need to be? Uh, no, I think we're all set there. Okay. Um, okay. We I still need to add you to sports engine. I tried to do it and it wasn't letting me do it for whatever reason. So I have to call them. Okay. Um, so marketing. Um, can I, let me just ask Lori about the two things. And then Go ahead. So um, the update on the chrome glass. Okay, so we'll put that on for next meeting. Yeah, I will ask him tomorrow. I have my little sticky out instead of up to one. So. Okay, and the rooster? It's called the rooster, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, see that? I sent it to you. I forwarded you that one. Let's see. Yeah, I will ask it. That's only once a month, though, Sorry. right? Is that a once a month? You don't know. Uh, I don't know what goes on. We get them weekly, but I don't oh. know. I don't think we get parents get them. No, weekly. I think the parent one is just once a month. Okay. And Cecilia, so yeah. you want okay. to talk about Facebook and the town website? So I was on um, one of the job descriptions went up on the town website. A couple of comments and questions. And so I've been looking at the Facebook pages and the town website that we currently have. Um, and we, I also do baseball with my girlfriends and they do sports engine. I just got it and um, I agreed to coach for my youngest. And so they have a whole website through sports engine. Mm -hmm. That's Babe Ruth. And I didn't know, are we sticking with the town website? Or are we switching over a sports engine? Well, we will next year if we budget for it. But the reason why they have their own little website is because they pay for it. That's why. That's their perk. That's their $59 a month. That's a lot. No, well, that's not worth it. But, you know. And actually, it's probably well, a lot more less. More than that. They, there's some other features that were. Well, and it's headache. probably less than all of the parent fees that you would be getting, that you are getting now that you wouldn't be getting then. Like, you know, it's probably less expensive, you know, different people are paying those fees, but it's less expensive than it currently is, I would guess, in fees. So, I just didn't know because, like, one, it, and they're a national, it's Babe Ruth National Organization. Yeah, it's up when I do the baseball thing. So, well, yeah. we've, we've got the little Fiat, <laughs> they've got the Mustang. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then it was, if we did transfer from the town website, which is currently maintained by someone else in, here in the town, another volunteer or two, do we think we have the skill set and capabilities to handle our own website? Uh, no. I don't have the time to be able to. I could do it. I mean, my skill set is okay with it. But it, for me, it's time. It's, I wouldn't have them go decade. Okay. Sure. So if we go to the Summer Rec website through the town, or the Rec Committee website, the first thing that pops up is Summer Rec. 
and it says registration opening soon. So we should probably talk to our webmaster and take off the Send open, your email. open soon. Um, so, and then it links to the summer rec page through SI. And on there, it, um, are links to the town summer rec page. And it says that we have packets at the library. But I didn't see that we say anywhere else that we're at the library. So I wonder, do we have packets at the library? I don't know. Honestly. So you could uh, you could get packets to the library, yeah. or just um, send her an email. Um, and if you need her email address, let me know. But send her an email with please change this, 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 this. And I've got it all listed here, so I can just good. Um, you know, if you see things like that, Sylvia, so don't be. You don't have to wait to the next meeting to. Um, I want to get you guys' consent. Well, I mean, like email. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, because things like that, to me, I probably want to take care of sooner than later. Well, I was just doing this today, so. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not like it's been there. Um, <laughs> um, and then, question. It says, for information regarding registrations, to contact either Kelly or D. Is that still good? Do we want it? Just to be D. It should just be me. It's really not bugging Kelly. Well, you don't bug me. <laughs> it would be me. Um, <laughs> is there any way, and I don't know if we can answer this, that the Indeed job can be linked to the page? Or we can say that we accept things via email instead of just by mail? Whatever you want to change on the town website, send an email and that can be changed. Okay. Um, sending a, I'm not sure there's a benefit to sending a link to the e, to the Indeed because people will see it in one place or another, and it's I don't think worth trying to figure out yet. So, cross that out. Um, when the job descriptions that I forwarded had the date of February something on them when the board first approved them. It was changed to March 18th. Is that fine with you guys? Um, I would a version date? Yeah. So I would say, if you don't mind, yeah. download it, change it to be accurate, and then upload it to the drive as a PDF. Okay. And then it's not editable, and it's real, and it's accurate. But don't worry about the current postings, because it's not really relevant to an applicant. And thank you for asking and checking. Okay, uh, questions about the sports engine link. It says, I was reading through, there's a $30 administration change, or a $30 fee for any administration fees. Mm -hmm. Is that them or us? That's us. And did we agree to that $30 fee? We did, we talked about that. Well, isn't it in here? Isn't it on your application? It's on there. She's asking if they It's on the sports engine. If you change anything on sports engine, then oh, she's she asking, did we talk about it as well? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on sports engine. Okay. I'm pretty sure we did. That should be in our minutes somewhere. Mm -hmm. And a lot of months. Yeah. <laughs> we talked a lot about registration in February. <laughs> And I remember us, and um, I remember us having a conversation about the changes and how we are not notified. And I don't. I did not have anything in my notes from when. Um, so. So what are we going back to on that? So can you give me an example? So I, I believe it's if. Is it something like what happened last year when we had one child who decided at the last minute not to be Camp Raleigh and to then yeah, to go so to the team? So that the is reason our why, administrative fee, correct? Right. So the, the reason why this all came up was because of power pay as far as sports engine is concerned. Okay. So if they make any changes whatsoever, like you know, right, we just said that's a good example. Yeah. Uh, we have to separate if it's something that's adding, we have to separately bill them, which is a complete Completely different entity than Sports Engine itself. Oh, okay. It's its own different accounting system, and it does not roll into what they currently have today. So it's, it's completely different. The um, order 
may change, you know, the calculations don't change. So it's it's a bear, yeah, I'm trying to work through, so yeah. figuring out what this person did and how much, and you know, it, it just it's just a communication tool that just doesn't work. So that's why we talked about that to try and deter people from doing that. Right. So far it's worked. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Yeah, because that's like, that's a uh, paperwork nightmare. Yeah. I have so many problems from that. It's crazy. And so I have it in February that uh, we talked about sports engine. Um, when there is a change, a separate invoice will occur. Mm -hmm. That's um, okay. And that we're, all, we're not always notified of these changes. Um, well, and that a committee member will have to intervene um, mm -hmm. when changes are made. But I didn't have anything recorded that said we weren't changing. Well, that doesn't mean it was necessarily in February to talk about it. So, well, so I seem to recall it was earlier than that. So here we are, and the fees in place at Sports Engine. So, you know, how do we want to move forward? I guess. What do we need to? You know, I, I think that forward. You know, well, so. So if what? it's contentious and we're not all agreeing about it, then you know, let's vote to say that it's okay or not. You know, um, but clearly there's an expressed need for it. Mm. So. Um, Rather than search in history, if yeah. there's a need to reiterate the vote, then reiterate the vote. I think we should do that then. Okay. So how do we begin that? Motion. Done. There's a motion. I'm putting a motion to um, for a change in registration process that we have a thirty dollar charge for, for any administrative fees. Yes. Or in, for in, any. Change. Registration changes. Yes. Okay. Made a motion to change. <coughs> All right. Just a second. We made a motion to add a registration fee. It's not a registration fee. It's administrative fee. Uh, it would be on there because that's not, paper. Okay. But it is on sports engine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's right on the front page. Okay. Uh, that's as far as I can. Big bold letters. And only on sports engine? It's only on sports engine. Okay, and that was at Lori seconded. And then we need a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? No. So. Um. So can they still make paper corrections with the submit paper corrections without a fee? Or is every correction or registration change charged a fee? Okay, well here's what happens. So when I get, and I'll answer your question by telling you this. So when we get a registration packet like this, this does go on to um, Sports Engine. And when they get their electronic version of Sports Engine, they have to actually accept that um, they actually have to, is it an accept or how is it? It's like a confirm. They have to hit like a confirm button that they understand everything that's on Sports Engine, including the fact that if there's any changes, they, they owe a $30 administrative fee. You see what I mean? So even though I do get a paper, they do get a Sports Engine account, and they do have to sign off on the fact that they understand. Because you're going to end up potentially with the same problem even if they submit a paper registration. Right. Because once she gets paper, she it becomes electronic. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so although it's not here, it's there. Um, so I'm just, my concern was that we might be deterring people who might be registering now and then they decide they're going on vacation over the summer and they play up for the long week or something like that. And then we're going to be 
dealing with a mess. And I was thinking, or are we putting people off by saying, if you register now and then you decide you're not coming, we're going to charge you $30, or if you decide to change. Well, that's a refund policy, though, right? That's part of the refund policy. And I think you would get something similar with any kind of similar thing. Like, when you, when you buy something online, you buy it. Like, when you sign up for something online, you know, there's a consequence to, to canceling that or, right. or changing the work that. Says so, so, the work says some sort of process like that in place, any, yeah. any change. I, I think it's $30. Is that where we can put it? does. And <laughs> I think we even asked the woman uh, that you have brought in. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think we have answered that question. Yeah. And okay. there are a couple more that we looked at. How long can cool those that? So people can always just not register at all. Right. Until they're ready to. Right. Until the very last minute. Because that's, I think, why that happens. Like the Andersons. I think that's why that happens. Because <laughs> they don't know what they're up to for the summer, you know. And, well, they, and you can't keep your ads, like we always say in school, you can't keep what if they. Yeah. Right. You know, there would just be a million different what ifs, scenarios. So do you keep the, are you in charge of the edits on sports and What do you mean in charge of? Oh, you oh do you mean because anything that needs to be changed? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Okay. Yeah. Because you don't have to address that the because there's a town thing about oh, okay. uh, your yeah. charge pizza. You go right the next line into camp cash. It, it was just confusing the way you read it. Okay. So Although it would be I good to put language send that over to you. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be great. Um, our, my other question is camp cash is on the sports engine website on the first page. Mm -hmm. Are we waiting? It says you will find out more information. Are we waiting until the first day and people are coming the first day and paying their camp cash? Or can they pay ahead of time? That's something that the director is going to have to sort out. Okay. Yeah. Because I was just going to say it's going to make the first day waiting in line to register and check in mm -hmm. even longer. Yeah. So, um, and this is a question for you, Dee. Is the family discount only on the whole summer, all eight weeks? Or is it? If you have two going the same, it's not by the week, you can't get a family discount. By the week, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, the town website also has the ice rink on there, which is connected to a Facebook page that hasn't been updated since January of 2018. And I want to know if we want to keep the ice rink up there as part of the town website for the rec or if we want to replace it with like senior programs with the results of the survey or something like that. Um, so I'm looking for input from you guys on that. And um, well, see, my, my personal feeling seems silly to have a website on uh, something that we're not offering I, currently. Yeah, I would say that's, <laughs> I would say that's the first answer is, is yeah. just Take um, it down. Yeah, like take it down until there's a decision from this group. Right. But then I think secondary to that is, um, does this group value the idea of an ice rink? Which is to say, do you want to buy it, install it, and then there's maintenance because you have to shovel it every time it snows. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> no, and I, I'm not even sure. Um, it was the fire department that maintained it. They did not shovel it. And well, so that was mostly, you know, I think the fire department did help with that. Yes. But I think there was also a significant, or maybe possibly a majority of that done by a volunteer family. Yes. Okay. So I would, you know, it, it may be worth talking to the fire department if they have any interest in helping with that, but I wouldn't presume that that would be the case. No, I don't think it, it's fair to presume that. And that's why it is no longer, is because it requires yeah, a good a lot. amount of maintenance, you know. I don't know how I feel about it. The only reason why we were so gung-ho about it before was because Kathy was, mm -hmm. she had the connections to be able to do that. I'm just not sure if it's like that. If you have enough people who care about it, mm -hmm. and you can have a sign-up sheet rotation about, you know, the next time it snows, it's your turn, and the next time it snows after that, it's your turn, mm -hmm. and people are really good about it, you know, if the community cares, then it can happen. Mm -hmm. But is there enough community that is invested at that level? We wouldn't know unless we did it. Survey the community. Right. Or, or, <laughs> or did it even. I mean, there's a lot of people that spoke up about it. I think with Celia's 
I mean, there's how many would you say? I'd say at least five comments. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's not but a lot. But but say, right, but when I she, want the ice rink, I will help <laughs> take care of it for right. the month of November. Right. It's just I want to be able to go. Right. Well, that's what I said to Celia. I said, well, did you respond to them? So are you willing to? <laughs> well, one of them was very critical of the fire department. And I responded yeah. to them saying, we're thankful that yeah. they didn't have housed it for as long as we did. Yeah. And we did talk to George. And if we do do buy a new ice ring liner, George is willing to help us move from the fire station to the, um, to the, the highway, highway barn. Okay. And he's willing to store it at the highway barn. So it's out of the elements and it doesn't get damaged like it has in the previous years. So the highway department is all on But yeah, that, that takes, you know, if, um, it's, if it's up to all of us, you know, we can only do so much. <laughs> that will be so much. <laughs> we would have to find out if the community cares enough to have something like that. Yeah. And if they'd be willing to donate their time as well. Yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it alone. How much was the line there? Do you remember? That was put in at eleven hundred. I don't know I don't know what the exact price was, but that was what was our line was yeah. eleven hundred and that, my understanding was that that was the entire like it's something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was pricey. Yeah. And it may be something that you can get some sporting organ, you know, sporting store to, you know, donate. Which I, I, I would, you know, possibly or, you know, partly so, like in exchange for, like, could you put a banner over there that said that they did, or, or something. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't go asking for that without having a firm commitment from the community that it's really going to happen. I might have a connection to, um, not, I just know, like, the, the rink in Summer Resort is, ma is that maintained by the Lions? That's the Lions Club? The, yeah. I know a couple of the guys over there that really are a part of that. So, I could uh, reach out and just see what their, what their system is. I think they have a Zamboni, though. Have you guys seen I, that? I've seen that outside. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know how That's they did that. Serious. So maybe we can. So what? We well, I'll take that, that on. Yeah, I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll ask my buddies about that. So ask about that, and maybe yes. we can um, table the the winter liner discussion further until the fall. Like, yeah. Until like August. Late summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We do everything in August. We're going to meet every day in August. <laughs> so, I I'm not going to be here, I some can. of it. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to look at was going through that page and was to look at the Facebook pages that are managed or overseen by the REC and determine if we need to combine them or um, are, do they all need to be, are they all necessary or are they all linked? I found six, five or six Facebook pages. Well, I, so we don't necessarily have the authority to say, for example, if a previous volunteer person did that on their own. You know, who's to say that they're really official rec pages? You know, who are the admins? Are they willing to relinquish it or them? So why do we keep recycling the Camp Raleigh parent? So we had Camp Raleigh from 2017, and that got changed over to Camp, well, <coughs> the new one, oh. the Camp Raleigh 2018. And then are we going to make another one for Camp Raleigh 2019? That was another question. Why can't you just have a Camp Raleigh one and it's the same every year? Yeah. Because you technically you have different staff parents. and different parents different coming people in. Or, yeah. Well, so. can you like delete, like not delete the group, but like uninvite people or like throw them out and then, you know, like, and then invite new people? Uh, I don't know. When the classrooms have their web pages now, they're only for that year. So they, well, well web right. pages, web it's pages or Facebook no, pages? No, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook page. Okay. But, but I don't know what, she, I'll have, I can ask Lindsay. I don't know yeah, what she does. Yeah, the spare Yeah. Yeah, Lindsay Cation. But I think you can. Uninvite people, unfriend. I don't know, I'm going to unfriend you. 
Yeah, and then, do that. and then, I don't know, whatever is easier. Because I'm not part of your pages now. But otherwise, now, yeah. Right? But what they should be doing is they can close. Oh, check with yeah, you can close, close the 17 and 18 ones yeah. and just delete them at least. Who has but admin rights to that? Do we know? That was another question. Who has the admin rights to the 2018 page? I think it was, it was uh, Brittany had at least the 2018. So I would highly suggest that you not leave that in the hands of just employees, nor just um, volunteers. And um, and not just one person, you know? It was two. It was, two as, it was two employees. Director, assistant director. And maybe, you know, if that's going to be the case, then just make sure that they are that they close them at the end of the year. Yeah, that needs to be. That um, needs to be but at least if, if somebody here had that ability, then it would be a moot point. But um, hmm. um, I know I'm not sure, but I believe when at least either the Camp Raleigh one was set up or the 2017, the ex officio was on as the um, one of the admins. Okay. Well, we have such changed ex officios, mm -hmm. so I don't know if they still are or not. And I, I think we, Family Fun Day has their own web page that's connected to our, or their Facebook page, which is connected to the town website um, through the rec. So that one should probably stay. <laughs> So, um, and then the ice rink one, I don't know, when we take down that link, that Facebook page probably would no longer be linked to our page. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if anybody's maintaining it. I would, I would highly suggest that you ask for the revision of the page to eliminate all of the Facebook pages that we do not have admin control over right now. Because that means you don't have any content control, which means you are sanctioning things potentially that you don't know that you're sanctioning and can't delete and so forth. You know what I mean? I do. We need a social media policy in a big way. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, so I have all the information from Brittany and Janessa from last year. They may have passwords to those stores somewhere. You can try and find it, or I can try and download a lot of pages and see if I can just show them down see them. Or just email them and see if they will close them. And I just need a couple of days before they get closed down to make sure that we get all of the pictures that were posted at the 2018 page downloaded onto the drive or put onto the drive. Yeah, because that's probably the only way we got pictures last year once they were uploaded to the drive. And if we want pictures for marketing or for yeah. backing up grants and stuff like that, that's where yeah. they come from. Okay. Let me know. I'll try and shut them down when you're done. Is the PTO <coughs> Yes. It's past PTO, so nobody on the PTO could close it. Yeah, that was my spiel. Okay. Um, thank Any? you for all that. <laughs> no problem. So grants. How you doing? Congrats. Okay. I don't have anything in writing today, but I did do a um, search and have searched Wentworth Douglas Hospital, and they have a philanthropy office as well as. Um, we have giving just opened up across from the hospital. And they have their philanthropy board on their website, but it does and it just says please contact us to find out um, what we can offer. But it doesn't say what their focus it is or what they offer. And I know we had a lengthy discussion with Heather mm -hmm. that um, one of her employees 
gets most of his funding right. from York Hospital. From York, yeah, that's big. So I don't know, do we want to pursue Wentworth Douglas further? Um, it, was there a phone number there available to make a, a call? Yeah. I, I mean, we can make the call. I think anything's worth exploring. Yeah. The other thought I had, Celia, is, David, are you, how are you with research? Would you like to help with some grant research? I can try. What do you think about that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, have we heard from REF, by the way? Anything? They are meeting, yes, I got an email from them. They are meeting Thursday and they will let us know. Okay. After Thursday. Perfect. Um, and I can send that out to you guys. But Diane did get back to me. And so nothing else has been um, great because I know we're well, quarterly stuff. I need to touch upon C and J. We talked about me reaching out to them. Um, at the last meeting. Um, however, I have had a couple different things that have um, been brought to my attention that we need to ask them for. Like, um, one of our meetings, we it was mentioned that they have all those Borough Academy buses that sit in their bus yard. And are they willing to provide us transportation at a lower rate than we can get it through for our students? That wouldn't be for them to say how to use Berwick Academy property. You know, they may offer their own buses, but I don't think it's fair to ask them what they can do with Berwick Academy no, buses. That's the Berwick Academy. So, but by all means, you know, I mean, if you felt like it's appropriate to ask Berwick Academy, you could do that. So the question was, why are all of those buses there, and does C and J own them, or do they, they own do them? not own them? They do not own them. And should we ask C and J if they could give us a better rate on transportation than we are currently getting? So what am I going to uh, and what are we going to C and J and asking for? I, I we need to ask them if they want to continue to sponsor the teachers, mm -hmm. right? Like the buses, if they can provide transportation or not. I would ask them what their capacity with busing is. Like, how many people does a bus hold versus a school bus? Um, because I have a feeling that the capacity, if, if the capacity is less, then you're, you're into apples and oranges, and you might be asking for two CNJ buses where you would only need one school bus. Um, which doesn't mean you don't ask the question. Just, just be aware that capacity it, it may be a factor. And I believe it was at our last meeting we said, would they be willing to do anything else, right? And yeah, I think we were going to show them, as far as programming was concerned, it's yeah. on the donation letter. Um, we were going to show them that it's a blurb about programming and they, can, they want to um, contribute to activities or whatever's under that. Because yeah. last year we had extra money that went into the general rec budget that wasn't used for shirts. So we can't really ask them for shirt money and then not use it all. Right. Now understanding that we've got 80 of them in inventory. Yes. 80 t-shirts. So. And you can probably assume that we're we're down by well yeah, we're down by 29. So we still want to well do you have the right sizes that you need. That's right. So how are we coming on the and we're subtracting from inventory. Have we been doing that? Not yet. But I have paid Chris to do it with me this weekend. <laughs> so, you got money up front. <laughs> oh. So That's a sweet deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's already been paid. So, But you, my 13-year-old uh, helps me a lot too. When it to like that. He helped me sort out all the um, stuff that came back from, from camp at the end of the summer. That was a short. But I paid um so um David uh, um, brought in this 
thing from um, Red Mill to now. Do they? You said for snack foods, right? Do we have snack foods? I thought you'd want that more than you'd want a five pound bag of flour. Unless there's nativity around it. <laughs> um, and Cumberland Farms has an online um, donation request, which we can also ask for goods from them from. Um, so, my question for you guys is. Um, for either one of them, do you have specific things that you want to ask for? At Cumberland Farms, we could ask for money, but they're more likely to give us a donation of goods. Is, did they do that last year? No, I went to their office in Dover, and they said, here, complete this online. Okay, well, donations is good as fine, but we want to be careful about what we get, too. We don't want to be getting like, a ton of snack cakes and things that... But like, we could do Cumberland Farms potato chips. Mm -hmm. um, no, or waters or something like that. You can also ask the grocery store for those things too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it would provide us the snack shop. And I, I think a little farm is probably the ice gloves too. And then we're not soliciting those donations from parents. And stuff. Mm -hmm. It is better to get those things, you know, goods donated rather than asking for things for parents. Mm -hmm. How did we do last year with like granola year. bars? Because that might be something. Like, did, did we sell a lot of those? I don't know. Did, did we do granola bars? I thought or we did the okay. Nutri-Grain bars or something. I think we did the Nutri-Grain, but they sold out almost everything that they got. Really? Except for the ice pops. So maybe that's something that we can think about. Is, you know, like she granola had a good selection too. It wasn't all, it wasn't all crappy, you know? I have a friend of mine who works for craft. Kelly, where don't you work? <laughs> well, she massages like every I, industry I, under the sun. I do, yeah. And then I have five kids who play sports with um, a lot of different people. people. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so let me talk to her because we just did, she actually is a mom of somebody that plays basketball, but we did a basketball tournament and she brought in a slew of some craft stuff. Like you know what? Oh no, I think they only have the um, you and H dairy department used to give us milk. They used to do little bottles. They of do milk. have those. That's you interesting. Mean, you have to keep them refrigerated. Do you have a capacity? I guess you do if you're doing freezer pops. So yeah. So do um Chocolate do they milk? donate? Chocolate. They did when they did it for the um, what we did in Richmond. Okay. But I don't, I have no idea what you don't do. I just know they did it. I would, um, That's a good idea. I'm I mean, sure there's I a phone know. number for the dairy no, don't know. barn. Um, and then they would direct you to who would be the right person because I, I, I don't, I don't know that they manage that, but they would probably be able to direct you to who does. Because there was at one point, I don't know, they talked to a couple of parents, that they were providing breakfast, at least for some of the kids that came in during pre care Yeah. They, they had cereal, but sometimes they didn't have milk. Yeah, I'd have and to go get milk a lot. <laughs> Brittany would, would call me like really, really early because she needed milk. And that's funny. So. <laughs> so what so did we sell cereal? So these she are the did. things I don't even know. Okay, yeah, so she sold cereal. And she sold a lot of them. Huh. And okay. I know if you're talking to your friend at Kraft, like yeah. I would go to I went to BJ's two or three times last summer and I bought like the fruit snacks, like a hundred pack of fruit snacks. Yeah. I dropped them off and they sold through one or two boxes of those. And then I would go get like six of you know, packs of mixed cookies and crackers. Oh my god, I was doing the same thing. And they yeah. sold through those. Wow. <laughs> so it's like the Scooby Doo snacks and um, yeah. like the Oreos, like a box of sixty Oreos and it was like twenty vanilla Oreos and twenty regular Oreos and um, the, the Oreo like thing. Fruit cups. Mm -hmm. She cooked through fruit cups like crazy. So yeah. things like that, like the, so that's what I'm thinking. So if you need that much of those kinds of like regular grocery things, I would go to Kraft and I would go to grocery store. But like yeah. Cumberland Farms, I'm not sure if you're gonna find 
like the quantity of the right kind of stuff that you want. Not to say that you aren't. I like, think it's but, good, but maybe but, or maybe so spread that. out the asks between yeah, so different that. organizations because you're at, you know what I'm hearing is a lot of different stuff. So maybe asking for you know having a specific like menu idea and then asking Cumberland Farms for one or two items and asking Hannaford for three or four items and getting a supply so that you two aren't running around in your using your own personal money for like Hanford and Shaw's have given us gift cards in the past. Like you can walk up to the desk with our thing our letter, our tax ID number, and Shaw's they'll give you like a twenty five dollar gift card on the spot. And so we can go buy stuff, whatever we want at Shaw's. And then at Hanford's, um, you leave it for the person and the, they send it back here. In the last two years it's been between twenty five and fifty. Well, I don't think it's just, <laughs> it's just, we still have to We don't need them. to rehash that out, but, but, you know. versus spend is a little harder, but, you know, I guess, I, I think a lot of different organizations can help with food, and if, if you've got that much food going on, I like that you're offering a variety of things, mm -hmm. and not just like freeze pops, and they have like, but, um, spread it out and see if you can get more of it donated rather than you all who already donate so much time running around and adding that to. What about BJ's? Do they do that? Yeah, uh, when we have to get down there with a letter, they will give us, um, it takes 60 days. Do they require the tax ID on the letter or can we bring one of the um, flyers that we have? I don't know. I can find out. I can go down that Friday. I have to get them for a birthday party this weekend. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have it? Do you have enough? Because I have some extra room if you want. I. Uh, so what about what about David? Can the two of you maybe like yeah, get together and he maybe give him a certain amount of I was going to uh, direction on where he should be looking in. Um. Maybe you should give him the letters that you have. And, and D, if you don't already have it, I think you do, but you could just make a note of the tax ID number so that it's just on okay. your stuff. Okay. And I have it noted somewhere. Okay. I know where it is. It's on my... Oh, sorry. So, David, if I send you a list of things that need to be mailed, like the Rama Joe's needs to be mailed to their home office, could you... Okay, thank you. Um, send out stuff. For the reader. Okay. Not 10,000 items. Okay. And online, too. There are places you can go online. Um, yeah. Is there, do you have any certain um, sites you want to send them to? I mean, you can always send them yeah. an email about it, but maybe just to take a load, of, a load off your plate. Do we have a form letter that we are some kind of a um, stock that's, letter? That's what's in that. <laughs> no, no, that's not. Oh, yeah. Okay. If I'm going to send something. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, is there like a regular letter or a regular form that you can send to people? I don't yeah. have such a thing, but do you, I think you do? Yeah. Yeah. And we can forward that to you. Because really <laughs> <laughs> I have stuff, places I've been to in the past, and what they've given me already on the spreadsheet. Physical. What? Physical. <laughs> it's helpful if you can add it to a letter, I think, to say, you know, you helped us last year with this much money, and this is how we used it. Would you be willing to help us again? I think it's a more powerful ask than just, you know, will you donate to our group? when they don't remember what they did in the past. Like, yeah. it's helpful to know we already have this relationship. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you have your form letter. I don't mean to interrupt. It's just a thought. Yeah. So, <coughs> um, and then I'm, I'm working on a banner. So we can put all those people that don't need on there and make it recognition. Okay. Awesome. What about the PTO fundraiser? Do we know anything about that yet? Laura, you want to take that one? <laughs> we talked about it the other night. They would be more comfortable 
running the fundraiser and donating items to rec. Okay. So, like, um, they asked, like, if you had a wish list, like, okay. do we want kickballs or hula hoops or basketballs or games or then we didn't have to deal with money. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I brought this up. That's not a bad thing. Good job. <laughs> So if there's stuff that we know, then that we then we could give them, and then they can say we donated to too. Yeah. So okay. And when would they like this list by? They are meeting well, for June fifth yeah. for the last time this year, and the new officers take over on July. Is there a spreadsheet of the material of the snacks that you're looking for? Um, that's what I was asking. Yeah, so I don't have it um, on hand. I'd have to dig through the items that the girls give me at the end of the summer. But there was something. They I mean, kept the general, the same things like every week. Let's we'll see if I can't find it. Or just have to be avoided like paints or some kind of nuts or. Yeah, probably. It's probably better to avoid it just so that you don't have to ask and manage it. Yeah, I think we, we stayed, we um, kept it with peanut butter and certain, certain things like that. Let me see if I can find it. I have, I have something to, to just popped into my head and maybe Lori, if she's going to talk to Rich. So, Rich responded to us. You forwarded that to me yes. regarding the stipend. So, um, for intramurals that would go to a staff member. And what he was saying, right, Dean, uh, you read it's that. Yeah, she's saying it's part of the contract. It's so, by it contract. To to us, so it has to go to a staff member, which means it's not open to us. Okay, so couple of things that just flew into my head was like how 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 does the principal feel about that like is if no staff member wants to step forward and do that to the it's the select board to work out with the union through the collective bargaining agreement mm -hmm. so I would say if you want to change that express that to get this group to agree that you want it changed and then Tell the select board you want to do this first, and then go to the school board and say, um, this is the issue. We would like you to work to try to address this in the next version of the collective bargaining agreement. They can't just change it. I don't know when the next one expires, but they have to wait till that expires and hope that the other party agrees to well, modify it. So it's not an immediate fix. Well, I, I guess my, my question is the, is the philosophy of the school to host intramurals. I think it right? has to do with it's a contract. So because it is in the bargaining agreement, we can't change. Even if I got every staff member to sign something, it we, still can't be changed it can't because be it opens up a legal liability. So it's about the values of the school board, mm. whoever's on the school board, at the time that the contract is to be renegotiated. So how if so so basically I'm asking for next fall. So currently how everything is written. It won't be the next fall. It'll it's be like fall a year from fall. It will be the fall because our contract fall. just passed. Right. So, so I'm saying so what I'm saying is this coming school year, if no staff member steps forward and says I want to do it for the stipe is the stipend still in there for this collective yeah, you, agreement? You, yeah, agreement. Yeah, that just passed. Yeah, so okay. well, I didn't know if it was just. Yeah, yeah. So you're out of year, right. and then if you know this is only going to change, should that contract change? So you've got to get both parties to agree to modify the contract in that way. And if you, I would suggest you go online and watch the YouTube deliberative session. No, the go to the YouTube video and watch the deliberative session from the school because I asked the school board several questions about the into. They have it in their budget, the intramurals, and I asked several questions about it. They're all, they're buying by the contract. Further, even if you get both parties to agree to 
remove it from the contract. The new contract um, is approved passed. by the voters. So if the, if the new contract is not passed by the voters, you know, it, it still is changed. Yeah, it's another, it's, you know, not until you get a new one passed. So what staff member can we try to solicit to do that? <laughs> <laughs> one that I know of, but there'll be a new kindergarten teacher <laughs> and a first, second. So, all right. Well, and there's a new, isn't there a new one too this year? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never met a K. Yeah. 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 I mean, she's doing the yearbook. I know that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ooh, maybe she would be somebody interested. Well, and you know, I mean, that's a really good point. I think it's worth. Lori certainly knows them better than anybody else here, but you know, if you know who the potential people are, who's most inclined to do it, I think it's about having a conversation about how much support they would have. Because maybe if they realize the level of support, and you know, what is the level of lift to pull that off? And if this board is really committed to making that happen, so that it's really not a heavy lift on that person's part, then that might be an effective sales pitch. Yeah. And it might be hard the first year they're teaching, too. That's they the other thing, brand new people, like, they don't, yeah. And basketballs like, are there. But it might be effective for, um, for softball in the spring, though, because they will have been there for a little while. And you know, I would still think about who you've already got there, because I still think new people is maybe harder. I'm trying to convince one of my friends to be the to apply for the kindergarten position, and I can convince her to apply for that. I can talk her into it. <laughs> or could one of us be a substitute teacher? That's not it, as you're not coming <laughs> <laughs> Very good right. thinking. Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and trust me, you would not want to be being any part of this party. So is it? A classroom teacher only, or can it be any step? Anyone covered by that contract can do it. Mm -hmm. So, who as is far that? as I know, would that be a paraprofessional? Like too? potentially. As far as I know. My kind of thought was anybody in the school building, right? I mean, yeah, we're minus all the. Could we do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nor the secretary. Right. Okay. Nor the principal. Right. So, but you're talking so paraprofessionals or teachers, right? Right. All right. All right, Lori, you're on that. Yeah. I'm not one of you. Would you like to volunteer this person? Well, I think it's more. So this would be my opinion, like an organizing person, right, to get it going, and to be there at school. Now that person wants to solicit volunteers to help, I don't see why that would be a problem. I don't know how it works. Yeah. Can I ask the question? I think it would be interesting to know what of the people who might be most likely to take it on yet haven't in recent years. Um, is it really about, like, if we did all and they just had to show up, would they do it? Or is it really about they don't want to stay after school mm -hmm. at right. all doing anything, you know, because they have other time commitments or what have you? Or kids. And I right. will tell you that I just recently had something, um, a discussion with the school administration. and. I was reminded that the school staff are required to, by their contract, to be there till 3.15. Um, that depends on who. But. Uh, between 3.05 and 3.15, and they're contracted to be with their students until a little after 3. So um, you can't start anything until yeah, they're not 3.15. Yeah, it was like 3.15 or something. Until our contracted hours are done. Right, right. And the other thing is, is you probably don't want to give the impression that this is mandated or 
that you're going to give them a negative reputation or anything. You want to work closely to make it a positive sure. thing. But also, you, you, you know, that's a really good point about the time and when the contract time is up. I think you would want to try to schedule it such that if there's, you know, people have to stay after for whatever reason they might stay after with a teacher or with some aide or someone that they are not disqualified mm -hmm. from participating. But that it's like open to more people, open to as many students yeah. as possible. I yeah. believe the only people that were not kids that were not allowed was if it was a discipline issue. Yeah. Just but other than that, anybody. And I do know that from being on the PTO and trying to set up some meetings is that the teachers in certain areas, I don't know if Laura, your group does this, but like all the teachers in the annex meet once a week and they schedule their meetings at a certain time when the kids are gone. So it could be like three to four or four to five on a Wednesday night or a Thursday night that they're all willing to stay and talk about. Well, I, I think I, I think maybe part of why, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, but my thought is that maybe people who didn't want to do this felt that it was this huge time commitment. I mean, I think I any person who wants to do intramurals they can set their own time frame, right? I mean, there's nobody saying that you have to be there for five, you know, five days a week for basketball every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have games twice a week for the eight weeks. I think there is a thing about eight weeks, but I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, it doesn't have to be like, you know, it could be every Wednesday, mm -hmm. you know? Do what you want. Okay, that's part of your... <laughs> that has nothing to do with building. <laughs> your facilities. <laughs> hey, so we just kind of really did, um, so somebody just said a uh, recent graduate at the University of New Hampshire with a degree in recreation management. Yay. I like that. Director? She said assistant director, but maybe why not? For team um, or camp? Probably. Regular, I was, I was regular wondering. Regular camp. I was wondering if some of those, because there were so many for assistant, if some of them were, because didn't we put an age of 21 for director? Yes. For, for, no, no, for director it was 21. Was it required? Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. And I believe so, team camp director was also 21. So I was wondering if, if there's an age thing. She could, I mean, you would think that somebody that is a recent graduate is at least 21, right? You would think so. I would think Likely, so. not necessarily. Right, right. But, you know, I would say, like, interview them and like, see where they fit and offer right. them what they fit best for. Mm -hmm. Right. Rather than she just asked should, if it's still available. So. She's a high. Go over to the director. Uh, I know. <laughs> she tell her that the director position is still available. You're interested. Hmm. So, where are we on our list? Facilities. Oh, facilities. <laughs> told you, I didn't tell you anything. The four? Did no, you? Okay, so no. Um, did you hear anything about the quotes? No. The gym floor? Okay. So we'll tell you the ones for next meeting. Okay. I don't think he has any information on that. No, we'll just, it's good to keep gym checking floor. in. How about um, any information on the pavilion? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even bring it up at the last meeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't bringing it up the last meeting. Uh, but, um, I do know, to that when I was talking <laughs> to Dick this morning, he told me he had to go to school board meeting. So maybe he's too much to talk about that. I don't know. It could be anything. Well, that would be okay. interesting. Mm -hmm. You want it regardless. Yes, we are. I like the whole budget. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it, unless there's other business. Should we talk about Celia Danny? I covered all of them already. Right, okay, <laughs> Lori. <laughs> David. Uh, we're good. Um, you know, does anyone buy a calendar? Uh, lacrosse. Do you remember when you were reading to your body? Oh, it's fabulous. That thing is. I know. All right. Um, we do need to set a meeting date. So two weeks from now or three? One of the two or three? 
Did we need to do something before May 1st? Did we talk about Did we just mention that? <coughs> Right? Let's do it. Um, Something's due in the newsletter. Okay, so um, let's not do the 24th. So tonight's a Tuesday. The 24th yeah. is a Wednesday, but Denise will have to be at the 24th. Um, Denise is theoretically available to come to meetings starting on the Monday the 22nd. I'll still attend, but not, not to say that, you know, so, so what were you saying the, about the 24th? No, to the 24th. not to do it on the 24th. Okay. Okay. I cannot do the 23rd. I can do it yeah. three weeks out, which would be the 30th, I guess, of April, or I can do Thursday the 25th. Um, okay. I might be able to do the 25th, and we can do the uh, maybe the 30th. I can do the 25th. Kathy will not be able to do the 25th unless she has no customers. That's an she works. Thursday, uh, Tuesday the 30th, I can do, and Kathy does not work on the 30th, but I don't know if she has other customers. Okay. Dave, what about you? It should be okay. I can, okay. Do, I can do either day, actually. Either is okay. When did you say <laughs> that? I, no, I, I threw out the, I, I said no to the 23rd, and I threw out the two dates, the 25th or the 30th. I say we go for the 25th, and then if we have to make edits, that gives, I would us say people, earlier, yeah. that gives people the chance to do any, all right, let's go to the 25th. And then if we have um, stuff that needs to go before the select board, it can go on um, the 28th. Okay, so let's do that then. Six o'clock, right? Yes, ma'am. Monday. Monday the 29th. Yes. All right. Sorry. Yeah. So rec meeting on what day? The 25th. It's a Thursday. Yeah. 6 p.m. Yes. No, no. we're meeting the 11th. Right. It's supposed to be going. Okay. All right. Are we all done? 805. Motion to vote. Okay, super. We'll do it Tuesday.